this is kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. So it was Brendan Schaub's 34th birthday the other week. Or the other day. Sorry, not the other week. The other day. Brendan Shaw's 41st birthday. Sorry, 41st birthday. I don't know why it matters, to be fair. I think the number one in your birthday should only matter when you're like fucking 21 or something. And after that, you should probably only be celebrating your birthday every decade, really, if you're an adult, like a big celebration. Having a 41st birthday party is a little bit insane for a grown-ass man. But we're all different. Um, I'm somebody that doesn't celebrate my birthdays ever. Um, I'm my, I'm somebody that just believes if you're an adult, you should maybe buy yourself a drink, you know, toss yourself to another year on this fucking spinning fucking globe and keep it pushing, or buy yourself a nice little steak dinner and keep it moving. But the idea of organizing a birthday bash and a birthday party for yourself is kind of redacted, kind of. But again, I could be incorrect because I'm a bit of a Grinch and a bit of a, you know, um, what's that thing called misery merchant when it comes to birthday things i think grown men shouldn't be doing that regardless him describing it might be the most heartbreaking thing ever i'm not gonna lie i hate birthdays i think brendan celebrating his 41st is fucking ridiculous but him describing it is actually sadder than the actual thing itself Listen to Brendan describing his birthday. Good morning, kids. It is Monday morning, March 18th, 9 a.m. on the d -d -d dot. I see a birthday boy over there. It's I, Casey's birthday. I see birthday boy right over And by the way, he's not mentioning it because he cares about Casey's birthday. He's mentioning it so this Casey guy can say, oh, it's your birthday too, right? The other day. He doesn't give a fuck about this Casey guy's birthday, by the way. God bless Casey. Happy birthday to you. Belated. Hope you had a good one. But he doesn't give a fuck about this Casey guy's birthday at all. He's just saying it so that he can ask him about his own birthday. <laughs> but you'll, you'll notice it once it continues. Over there. It's your birthday, birthday, birthday. Pisces on Pisces. We're a Pisces sandwich. <laughs> Did you do anything for your B-Day? Not, yeah. I mean, it's today, but usually celebrate over the weekend because Mondays are awkward. Yeah, my uh, brother Shane flew in from New York. Oh, my voice is a little bit jacked up, huh? You, uh, up late? Yeah, up Yelling, late, drinking? Boozing. Uh, we played golf uh, Saturday and Sunday, and I think we're going to play a little bit later today. Oh, damn, that's nice. Yeah. A lot of golf for you. Mm -hmm. The Just the one brother came out? Yeah. That's nice. Do they not talk at all outside of the studio? <laughs> what kind of conversations is this? That's nice. Just the one brother, just the one sister, dad's still alive, mum's still here. <laughs> He's just finding out about this stuff right now. Love it. Nice. Yeah. Uh, they threw me a surprise birthday party on... He didn't even ask. That's why you love Brendan. Casey didn't even ask him, how was your birthday? He just said, they threw me a, like, I love it. Uninvited. Without any encouragement, without a fucking layup, without an intro... Without a fucking prod, he just... Oh, yeah, my birthday party. <laughs> Friday, because I had to leave my son's game a tad early. We are winning, so it didn't really matter. So okay. I had to leave the game Great. early. I thought it was just going to be me and my girl. And I get them that stinker, my favorite restaurant here. By the way, I love how everything that happens to him, birthday celebration-wise, he always has no idea. That video where everybody was thanking him for being alive, allegedly he had no idea. This, uh, come on, do you, do you like, who, who, okay. They're in the valley, the steakhouse, old school steakhouse. Uh, Callan was there. That's about it. <laughs> no, uh, it was Callan, Tripoli, Griffin. Uh, who else was there? Rogan? Uh, oh, Jan Bobby surprised Dean. me. Yeah, Jan was uh, there. The fuck is Jan? And then some of my uh, other friends. But it was great, man. <laughs> Isn't that sad and depressing? Who turned up to his birthday party? Brian Callen, Eric Griffin, Sam Tripoli, and someone called Jan. <laughs> no Rogan, no Delia, who he does a fucking show with, no Theo, right? Where's fucking Theo? No Mark Catherwood, like, no Josh Wolf. Right? No Dave Chappelle. No so Chappelle Lacey. No Mel like where are all these guys? Where's Chin? Fucking hell, bro. Where are your like and some other friends? What other friends do you have? I knew about it. You knew about it? Mm hmm They and you didn't come? Uh I mean You're golfing? I knew about it. I didn't get an official <laughs> invite. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's the price. I just figured you get, didn't come. <laughs> oh, this 
this is so sad, man. You didn't come. Why didn't you come to my birthday party? I was hoping to see you there. You didn't come. Why didn't you come to my birthday party? <laughs> Maybe next year. You know, you're getting older when, you know, when you see a surprise birthday party, like, hmm. you know, like you look at the guest list, you hmm. all right. Well, you know. Basically, he's trying to say, when he saw the guest list and there was hardly anybody on there, it was a sobering reminder of just how far his star has fallen and the reality of his current situation in life. All of his friends have left. The friends they did have have probably abandoned him based on the Bobby Lee shit, the Kalila shit, the Annie shit, all number of other shits that have happened. Maybe he's just run out. Because that also might be the other thing that's kind of brutal about that industry. We always pontificate or I always pontificate and I always fucking hypothesize or rant and ramble that it could be all these really intricate, deep, um, conspiratorial things why he's not fucking where he's at before. It could just be really brutal. It could be even worse and super shallow than we actually imagined. It could just be that those other guys have noticed that he just isn't good value anymore. He doesn't get you the views. T Fat K isn't as important as it once was in the Rogan verse. Why go? Why waste your time? That might be the actual truth of it. It might not even have anything to do with Crystalia. It might not have anything to do with fucking Brian Callan's rape agile allegations. It might not have anything to do with the Bobby Lee drama, the Kalila shit, the Annie shit. It might have to. It might have nothing to do with that shit. The whole reason why other comedians have distanced themselves from these guys might just because might just be because they just simply do not matter. Nobody knows who you are. The views aren't viewing anymore. Why would somebody waste a podcast appearance to go and sit with these guys on TFAT K for 20K views when they can go and sit with Theo and get 100,000 minimum? It makes no sense. So that might be the actual real reason, which is even worse, to be honest. I'd much prefer it if they, t you know, if I was him, I'd prefer if they just said, hey, we don't want to be associated with you. Because Callan's being accused of, accused of being a rapist. Diddler's being accused of allegedly fucking 15-year-olds and shit. I just can't do it. Cool. That's much better. Or because of how you treat Bobby. I love Bobby. Anyone that hates Bobby, I hate them. Cool. But if they don't like you because you don't get the views, that is horrible because at one point, everybody was on this fucking show. Now no one wants to come near it with a 10-foot barge pole. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. Welcome to the party. You know, it's like you're just getting older man you know it's just how it goes it's a good time though i don't care too much about birthdays kiddos birthdays i go nuts those for all i uh wanted was uh the birthday cards from the kiddos i got that this morning and then whenever my girl asks me what you want i'm like don't don't waste your money let me just this i need this car part you don't know what it is so let me just do it and then you can say it's for me or just put a bow on it that i'm installed on the on the truck isn't that the most depressing birthday party ever? A surprise birthday party, allegedly, which I don't believe. But anyway, let's let's say surprise. Hardly anybody turns up. Only Brian Callen and Eric Griffin of note turn up. Sam Tripoli is not really a, a, of note person. He's like a new, I, I don't know. He might say he's not a new friend, but I think I would class Sam Tripoli as like a new friend. Even Eric Griffin's mostly a new friend. And he's only Brendan's friend because Brendan pays him. Eric Griffin used to hate fucking Brendan. He went from Rhonda and E News to Sam Tripoli and Derek Griffin. Exactly, Keith T. You put it perfectly. Exactly. He went from having his picture taken on red carpets. He went from having photographers, camera fucking shutter buttons and flashes going off as he stepped out of a car to, you know, what he's currently doing now. Exactly, Keith T. Um, I was going to say about Eric Griffin. Eric Griffin's only Brendan's friend now because he pays him. Eric, Eric used to hate Brendan more than some of the guys on the T5K subreddit. For some reason, Brendan Schaub's wife decided to organize a photo shoot for Brendan's 41st birthday party, but it almost feels like the pictures are for her. <laughs> Don't you find that wild? She puts together a photo shoot or she hires a photographer to take official pictures for Brendan's 41st birthday party which is ridiculous in itself, right? You should celebrate your 40th, your 50th, your 41st is fucking nonsense. But she puts it together, but then the pictures make it look like it's her birthday. <laughs> I don't even, imagine, you don't even like birthdays. You don't even care about them. She hires like fake paparazzi type picture per people, which is already cringe in itself. And then the pictures look like it's your, per your birthday, not mine. 
Like, what's going on here? What are we doing here? So, first picture here features the happy couple. Again, more ammunition for my theory. I don't care what you guys say. More ammunition for my theory that something's happened to Brendan's shoes. Because look at the shoes he's wearing. Are those golden goose? Yeah, I think they might be golden goose. He's got all those expensive rare shoes in his collection and he's wearing golden goose sneakers to his birthday surprise thing in a fancy restaurant somewhere in LA. We know Brendan. We know how much he loves to stunt and flex. He would be wearing way more expensive and exclusive shoes, you know, if he had them. So maybe he has sold them. Maybe they got stolen, but there's something odd about that. Anyway, that's them walking out of their car, heading to the restaurant, trying to pretend like, I don't know, they're fucking Kim and fucking, I don't know, Odo Beckham is fucking weird. Um, they're walking in. Brennan doesn't want to look at the camera. She, again, it doesn't it look like it's her birthday. If you if you didn't see this, doesn't it look like it's her birthday party and not his? <laughs> Don't you think? Like these pictures look like they they focus more on her and not on him. Look, even the next one, he's looked away from the camera. He's not even on focus. She's in the foreground. Like <laughs> I love it. She's such an attention seeker. <laughs> she can't even let him have his day. <laughs> I love it she's the best woman ever um she can't even let him have his birthday it's like it's her day as well now this is my day too because i get to be away from the kids as well fair enough um another picture again it looks like it's her birthday like she's in the like every picture she's in the fucking foreground they're hugging they're having a good time um let's see another picture here another one that looks again okay, two pictures the same one one in black and one in colors a bit strange <laughs> <laughs> oh the picture of them sitting in the car bro man these people man the car looks fucking sick don't get me wrong neon green hellcat you know what i mean absolutely amazing with the fucking you know racing slick tires and shit it looks fucking hard but this is so sad this isn't even a paparazzi shot this is them hiring somebody to take this picture and make them look famous as they're pulling up to this random parking lot somewhere to eat at that fucking what's the restaurant called by the way what's it called they went to eat at was it called that slayers or something some steakhouse what's it called mm -hmm. the just the one brother came out yeah friday because i had to leave my son's game a stinker my what? so i had to leave the game early i thought it was just me and my girl and i get then that stinker my favorite restaurant here in the valley this either way who gives a fuck um let's go back to the pictures it's some it's, it's it's in some parking lot shopping mall area type of thing so you know it doesn't look the most fancy thing ever in the world and <laughs> the the balloons for his birthday party again i'd rather have no birthday party than have this this is fucking depressing this is kind of sad i'm i don't know maybe i'm being a bit of a hater but i would hate this for me if my partner did this for me i would actually be angry i'm not gonna lie this would be cause for divorce like, don't throw me a birthday party for my 41st. Like, don't do that, please. Ugh. Look at these pictures, man. Like, again, with these shoes. I think he's, I think something's happened to his sneakers. Maybe they, maybe their collection burned down or something. Something happened. I don't care anyone says. Something definitely happened. He's definitely got a tight grip on that phone, right? You got to make sure the fucking, the baddies and the addies texts come straight to you, not to anybody else. Is that Balenciaga coat? Yeah, that isn't it. That's a Balenciaga coat. That jacket, by the way, this Balenciaga jacket is thirteen thousand dollars. This Balenciaga jacket is what he's wearing is thirteen thousand dollars. Thirteen thousand dollar Balenciaga jacket. What is that? Like a and that's a mini Birkin as well. Another theory for you guys. I think Brendan is incredibly depressed. He doesn't show it on camera. He probably keeps it very close to his chest and shit. But I think being ostracized from the in-group of Rogan, um, knowing that they've not kind of, you know, knowing that the other comedians have kind of turned their back on them because of other things, who knows what's, what, what the deal is with that. I think behind closed doors, he's really depressed because this is the type of thing that your girlfriend or partner does to for you to kind of cheer you up because she probably knows him better than anybody, knows that he doesn't like birthdays, no, he doesn't really have many friends anyway. So the fact that she went to this effort to do this 
is probably a sign that he probably complains a lot at home about certain stuff. He's maybe kind of down after he records a podcast. He has to come back home and hang out with his family. He's kind of like moody because he's not, you know, with some baddies, having addies at random fucking clubs somewhere. I think this birthday party and the surprise nature of it and no one turning up or whatever maybe is an indication of how he must be day to day. I think this guy is fucking miserable. That's my theory. I think that's part of it. I don't believe it's completely a surprise, but I feel like she did this to kind of make him feel better. He's been really down. He's not really been in a good mood. He's been moping around the house, feeling down on himself, and she wanted to cheer him up. And this is what we have. That's what makes it even sadder, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. But damn, she made it all about her. <laughs> she made it all about her, man. It's fucking wild. You would never guess it was her, but it was his birthday. Look at all these pictures, they're all fucking her. The caption, happy birthday, handsome, another year we get to celebrate together. 2024 will be our year. Please stop crashing trucks. Let's keep enjoying the beautiful life we've created together. The kids and I love you so much. No, don't even use the word husband in there, which is interesting, but you know, we'll let that be. Some more pictures, some more B-roll, more pictures of them. And more pictures of her, actually. Not really of them, of her. There we go. That 10, 13 gun jacket. Her and her friends. Where's Brendan and his friends, by the way? Okay, there's Brian Cannon. There's her brother. <sighs> That's it. Where's everybody else? Oh, there's Sam Tripley down the back, isn't it? There's Sam Tripley. Probably did a couple bumps before he got to the table. Where's Chin, by the way? Why isn't Chin there? Why isn't Chin there, by the way? I wonder why Chin didn't get an invite. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Chin should definitely be there. Chin should definitely fucking be there. That is really fucking odd. Why isn't Chin there? Is that a light? Is, does she have, is that the LED light that she's holding on for her? Okay, fair play. Where's fucking Chin? Why didn't Chin get an invite? Okay. Cool, I guess. No Chin. Chin's not part of the family. Chin's not included. That's a bit fucking out of order, isn't it? I thought Chin would have got an invite. He should have been the first one there. After everything he's done for them. Fuck. He doesn't hang with the help. <laughs> that is awful. Why didn't Chin get an invite? How's Sam Tripoli get an invite but Chin isn't? How does that make any sense? That's fucking insane. Chin should have definitely got an invite. I'm surprised George didn't turn up. His fucking face. I'm surprised George wasn't there. Even though you fired me, it's okay. 